Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the news because we got a lot of news that came out uh, this morning and uh, yep, my voice is still like I just woke up and I barely woke up not long ago. So we're gonna go into the news right now. So story event, the blacksmith uh, of flame, of the flame, sorry. So uh, you guys will be able to farm a little bit more Christ in this one. So you guys are pretty used to it by now. Uh, we get more story event and basically these ones are like the bonus stages where you actually just do three uh, battles with 20 energy each and you guys are going to be able to farm whether you want uh, power Chris, tech Chris, guard Chris, white Chris, whatever you guys want. So this on Friday will be live. Then we're going to move on to the next one, the limited time quest, uh, King's Mog, King Mog's lost map, sorry, uh, it will become permanent so basically whenever you guys go in the, uh, in the vortex you guys can see right here king mogs lost maps will be a permanent feature accessible in vortex and hence second tab uh, through the quest you can get lots of useful items to help uh, you on your adventure kupo so basically that's what it's saying right here uh almost like zonarkan runes whenever you guys do a, an event for a final fantasy or anything that they're going to put out with an event you can get some of those maps and basically use them all the time so this is really really cool and uh, that's a new feature that they implemented 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 whatever that they added to the game uh with the final fantasy 10 banner then we're gonna keep going i'm gonna try to keep it nice and short uh we're gonna get the final fantasy brave experience special five star batch summon now what it means means you're going to be able to pull a five star unit but other than that they're not saying much players can use a one special five star batch ticket to perform one special five star batch summon basically they just said nothing right here but it's okay we're going to keep going uh friday on the 22nd till uh, thursday the 7th of march wow uh, how to get a special 5 star batch ticket, a special 5 star batch ticket can be acquired by pur uh, purchasing, hey they forgot the R, purchasing, purchasing the FanFesta special select bundle, uh, right here you can find the 5 star batch summon uh, on the summon category right here you guys can see, uh, sorry. It's really early in the morning. Uh, head over to the summon screen, select the standard summon tab, and tap on the special 5-star batch summon banner. So, you guys will be able to summon. Now, the real question is, uh, is it going to be only featured units on that banner? Which, uh, let's say, this is going to be the banner and you'll only be able to pull either 6 of those units. So, Awaken Rain, Kurosame, Freya, uh, Kunshira, I forgot her name, Ram and Noctis, so is it going to be uh, limited to certain units, maybe, and if it is, it could be cool, since uh, you can only summon the units that you want, so that could be a nice thing to do, but other than that, we don't got more news about it, but uh, we'll see, hopefully they're not going to sell this ticket in uh, a $70 bundle or a $120 bundle, uh, if they would sell this ticket for like a $30 bundle or $20 bundle, maybe it's worth it, but other than that, I'm pretty sure knowing Gumi, it's gonna be hidden behind like a $69 bundle, and uh, that's not that cool. But we're not here to talk about bundle, we're gonna keep going into the second one FanFesta Exchange Campaign. So, we guys, uh, we will be able to get these coins during the login bonuses. Uh, you will be able to change these coins for stuff in the Minister Mog, so you guys will be able to change it for units or tickets. So right here we're gonna read it. Players can collect and exchange FanFesta tokens with the Mog Minister for a variety of past FFB FanFesta units and items such as 4 star plus guaranteed tickets and more to commemorate the success of previous FanFesta. Uh, how to get FanFesta tokens? FanFesta tokens can be acquired through the FanFesta commemoration login bonus. That was really hard to read. Uh, so like I said, uh, I think it's right here. Is it right here? Let me... Yeah, this one right here. So we're gonna go right here. So basically these are the things we're gonna be able to get uh, during the login bonuses. So on day one, uh, 5 plus 1 ticket, King Metal Mania Tours, Lapis, uh, FanFesta token 500, uh, we're going to be able to get some EX tickets, more Lapis, more tokens, uh, more tickets, money, gil, Lapis, trust coins, which is really, really cool, uh, four-star guaranteed EX tickets, FanFesta token, 
5 star trust moogle which is really good i always like these and uh, fat and festa premium 10 plus 1 summon ticket which is really really nice uh, more gil more tokens more tickets more tokens and more tokens so this is all the stuff that we're going to be able to get whoops and uh this is really cool so uh, it's really nice they did that and uh giving us free stuff is always nice so we're gonna move on the raid event the darkness apocalypse is coming back now you guys will be able to fight this uh, crazy girl and uh, her event where she is let's be honest it was a big headache and uh, i think next friday they're gonna bring it back but nonetheless really cool they're bringing back a raid event you guys can farm it to get maybe some gil or uh trust moogles for the characters that are gonna come with that so we're gonna move on bam these guys are coming back so malfazy and cersei will make a comeback uh i already did a video where i talk about them so i'm not gonna waste too much time here uh really really good she can chain with divine ruination she's a special demon killer and Cersei is actually really really strong as we get them in their 7 star and the good thing about these characters guys uh, they're always in the summon pool so whenever you pull a rainbow there's a chance that these two characters will be in there then we're gonna move on to the next one BAM! Beryl and Alice Paris are making a comeback also uh, he's a really good magic cover tank she's a good damage dealer but uh, there's better damage dealers out there but her sprite is really really cool other than that uh, they're not super special he's pretty good so if you guys have to pull i would go for him they all come uh in a step up summon which is twenty-five thousand lapis each where we can see right here uh do i recommend doing it absolutely not since we got these units right here so aurora fravia is out most of you guys well most of you guys some of you guys already have her from the fan festa 2018 uh she's one crazy unit so we're gonna go over the stuff real fast they're gonna be live on a step up summon uh 25k lapis at the end of it you're gonna be guaranteed either one of uh, the two and uh this is really nice so we're gonna go with mira right here she's a high spirit uh i think she's like a, a singer so like a buffer we're gonna see i don't know all the stats about them uh we're gonna wait for the data mine which is gonna be really really nice to see so right here trust master is uh Aegeo, so it's a hat, magic 20, spirit 55, enables Aegeo, boost light and fire resistance, uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be maybe around 30 to 50%, but 30% would be actually really, really nice, or super trust master, spirit, it's a rod, spirit 150, attack 10, and it enables to all my fans, boost SPR when HP falls below a certain point, now is it going to be something like when her HP drops under 20% boost her own SPR but like 120% maybe but uh, for now we don't know exactly what's gonna be out there but when the data mine comes out we're gonna see a little bit more so our featured ability live concert uh, one use every six turn cast one time auto revive and gradually restores HP and MP for all allies which is a really really nice move interlude boost attack magic defense and spirit cure poison blind sleep silence paralysis confusion disease and stone restore hp for all allies and it enables outro for two turns now the real question with this one is is it every single turn she's going to be able to remove those status elements and if so this is going to be really really nice so hopefully with um with bards they could do something like that one whenever they sing it's not the first time uh, the first turn and then it's done hopefully they can refresh every site every turn it would be really nice so every turn she's able to cure all the status elements that would be really really cool then outro boost attack magic defense and spr uh, restore mp and then activate barrier for all allies this is really really nice so once again i don't know how much uh, she's gonna boost maybe ideally it would be something around like 120 or 130 but uh, we never know we'll see exactly what they come out with then Aurora Fravia, the big damage dealer, uh, she, she's pretty cool, she's really really cool, so high in magic, but obviously she's an hybrid uh, damage dealer, she's gonna be specializing in light damage, uh, then you have her super trust master, we're gonna start with this one, it's a sword, attack 160, magic 120, mp 20%, and it's a two handed weapon, so the, uh, the range in damage is increased, which is really really good she's gonna be able to dish out a little bit more damage with this and her trust master right here previous suit attack 30 defense one magic 30 spirit one attack and magic 
10%, boost light resistance by 30%. This is actually really, really nice. And on her, she's probably gonna get a boost from wearing that, which is probably gonna boost her attack and magic by another 30%, and she's gonna be able to kill pretty much everything in the game. Then, featured ability, uh, Flash, Furious Radiance, light damage and reduced light resistance for one enemy. I, I'm pretty sure this is 100%. So basically you do 100% light uh, resistance down. Imperil, sorry. So you basically imperil the enemy by 100% to light resistance, which is crazy. Gift of Daylight, one use every six turns, boost attack and magic and enables triple flash for three turns and restore HP for self. Then she has flash, brilliance, damage one enemy and restore MP for self. One thing that they were talking about guys, whenever you have Aurora, Fravia and Fravia on the same party, they're basically gonna unlock an extra skill and they're going to be able to dish out even more damage. So that's one thing to remember. If you have both of them, you can put both of them in your party, and they're basically going to ex um, they're basically going to unlock an extra skill to each other. And uh, basically, you can chain that skill and uh, do even more damage. Now, if you guys should pull for that, uh, absolutely. If you have the resources, if you have the lapis, if you have tickets, and you really want one strong hybrid damage dealer she's the one to go for she's really really good i'm pretty sure you're gonna see in your fan uh, in your fan in your uh, friends list uh she's gonna be there for a long time because she's really really good and uh that's all i have to say guys but the cool thing about it that they keep doing you guys have a chance to get her for free so free 10 plus one summon uh this is really really nice i love the fact that they always do that and uh i i I think it would be a little bit too much to ask if it would be like if they could increase the rates on those units on that free 10 plus 1 summon but nonetheless that's really cool because they don't have to do it but because it's a fan festa uh celebration 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 uh they're doing it and that's really really nice on their part and uh, right here you guys can see players can perform a free 10 plus 1 summon with drop rate, ah, oh, there is drop rate increase for Mira and Aura Fairy, so I forgot to read that one. Uh, available only once per player during the seventh period. If it was once per day, that thing would be amazing. So amazing. But other than that, this is really, really cool. So on Friday, I'm going to be pulling for those units. Uh, I don't know how much resources I'm going to put in there, but I'm going to put just enough because I don't want to kill myself in uh, summoning for these units. But nonetheless, I'm really excited for these units guys thank you so much for watching this video please let me know if you're going to be pulling for those units because if you are we can pull together you guys can join me and summon with me during uh, the video other than that guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace